Hey guys, welcome to Living in Southern Arizona. In today's video, we're gonna cover the top five reasons you shouldn't move to Tucson, Arizona. When it comes to Arizona, you'll find an endless amount of videos online talking about all of the reasons why people love living in the Grand Canyon State. While many of those videos make a valid argument, there's just as many people that would never step foot in a state like Arizona. Although it's important to note that Arizona is a very diverse state, especially from a landscape standpoint. So even though you visited Phoenix years ago and decided it wasn't for you, that doesn't necessarily mean you wouldn't enjoy living in another section of the state. Yet like any large city, Phoenix and Tucson tend to get a bad rap when looking at certain data points. Since this channel focuses on Southern Arizona, in today's video we're going to cover the top 5 reasons why you shouldn't move to Tucson, Arizona. Starting off with a growing issue that's affected many cities throughout the country and that's the cost of living. More specifically, the increasing cost of real estate throughout the city. This has made it a lot more difficult for longtime residents and first time homebuyers to find suitable housing. While the median home price in Tucson has increased by more than $100,000 since 2019, it still remains slightly below the national average when it comes to home affordability. This is especially true for those moving from more expensive states like California or New York. Going hand in hand with cost of living is another potential downside of living in Tucson, especially for those seeking local employment and that's a job market. In fact, Tucson's median per capita income is only around $25,000 while the US median comes in just above $31,000. Compare that to the capital of Arizona and it's no surprise that Phoenix has continued to experience rapid growth. While we're on the topic of housing, another drawback of living in Tucson is the abundance of HOAs. Not only are they more of an inconvenience for the homeowner, but they also create a cookie cutter appearance to many of the local housing developments. This makes it very difficult to find an affordable house within close proximity to local amenities that doesn't have a homeowners association. Not only can the cost of real estate be a problem, but the roadways connecting various parts of town can cause long commute times. Aside from the poor road conditions, the lack of major freeways make it more congested on the surface city streets. While there's many residents that view this as a pro, it's definitely something to consider if you're moving from a big city like Dallas or Los Angeles. The last drawback of living in Tucson also pertains to public roadways and that's the amount of trash throughout the city. Not only can this be an eyesore, but it's also very disappointing to see considering how beautiful the desert landscape is. Hopefully as time goes on, the city can address these issues and maintain a clean appearance throughout the community. And that wraps up the video guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.